Hi, I'm, with, I'm Elijah, and I'm here with Team 8744 The Leviathans at the Seven Rivers Regional. They have an amazing ground intake and a, and a great scoring system they would like to show off here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. For over 100 years, Kettering University has offered a better education because from day one, that education has been built on hands-on co-op learning. Kettering's impressive alumni network includes founders, presidents, CEOs, and frontrunners who have a reputation for transforming industries with their resolute leadership. Apply today at kettering.edu slash first. Anymark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Anymark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. Okay, so for starting off, we're going to start off with a ground intake. So what's going on here? What do you have you guys um, built into this? Yeah, so I guess we can pivot it down so you can see a little bit more in here. Um, so we started off using just like a poly belt intake and poly belt uh, indexer. Um, we had good luck with it last year, but this year with the coral being so hard, it's just not great on it. So um, after watching uh, Orbit's robot this year, uh, we kind of went with their intake design. So all these star wheels, compliant wheels, and then having this kind of flap around. Um, so it gives us a lot of compliance. It's very touch it, own it. We'd grab it and we'd get it right in. Um, Indexer wise, we had a lot of issues with coral getting stuck, especially this way. Um, so we redesigned our indexer to replicate more of a combination of citrus and orbit um, and doing it that way. So then we put this little mm -hmm. top plate on, I think a couple days before this regional um, that has helped us tremendously. Um, sometimes it comes out of our indexer a little crooked. So that's why we have these V's cut into our scoring mechanism. Um, it's a good way to not only lose weight, but also have a funnel for our coral to go in. So I see a lot of 3D printed star wheels. Um, what have you, uh, so what kind of experimentation, and uh, why did you guys actually go with that option? Yeah, so we started, um, like when we catted it, you know, it was just a lot of star wheels. So instead of buying them all right away, if we didn't necessarily need them, we printed a bunch of these 3D printed ones. Um, and then we just kind of put them in places. So. They're out towards the outsides right now because they're a lot stiffer. So these ones flex a lot, these ones are a lot stiffer um, and that allows the coral to kind of get smacked around and turn in towards our indexer. Um, yeah, I mean, we started with a lot of 3D printed stuff and just kind of played with it. I mean, this roller's been taken apart probably three or four times. We still have clip-on spacers in there um, just from testing what wheels work best. Um, indexer, same thing, you know, we played a lot with spacing, so stuff like that um yeah we just kept running cycles until it literally was just run them over and we got them okay uh so moving on i let's move on with that coral path so um i see you guys there's a great scoring system here what's going on over there yeah so um we have these yeah so i guess starting with coral side of things um we just have these compliant wheels on top that kind of push it into a polycarb plate um that allows us to go over the pole and then shoot it down onto it um speeds things up we don't have to you know align as well and place it on the pole so we can go a little faster um yeah i mean we have these little ears on there um we were gonna work on algae but unfortunately we just didn't get it working in time so we've kind of pivoted just to de the reef so we kept them on so we can knock them off um okay yeah. um so do you guys want to try and demo your scoring path yeah let's henrik do you want to run intake Okay. Um, okay. So I see a lot of um, belting running through your actual elevator. So what's going on there? Yeah, all right. So we decided to go with a belted elevator. Um, Elliot posted, uh, Elliot from Wildstein posted this on Chief Delphi, um, I think a little bit before kickoff. Um, so it's the same belt in tube, um, and we have the rev uh, clamp on bearing blocks. Um, yeah, it's fast and it's, you know, light and we don't have to really have that much cross bracing because all of our stuff is in our tubes. Um, we have a like five to one gearbox in the bottom um, that we have one motor on each side um, and they're synced together. So runs that whole thing up and down pretty quick. Um, yeah, and then we decided to go with no cross bracing, which was um, really like interesting thinking about it and stuff, how we want to make this rigid without 
having anything here. Um, we didn't want cross bracing because of the way our scoring mech is. We wanted to be able to just rotate it at any angle and not worry about running into cross bracing or just any like chain, anything like that. So uh, we decided to go with these 1 8 plates. Um, they were aluminum, but we switched them to polycarb and found it works just even a little bit better. Um, so yeah, we put these polycarb plates in there and we spaced out our bearings a little bit so we hold the box tube in there pretty strong. Um, so even at full extension, uh, we see very little wobble, especially with how our belts are tensioned. Oh, can we see I actually extend up? L1, L1, L2, L3, and then four. Okay. Um, and then, uh, okay, so you guys also said you guys have a ton of vision and uh, automation going into this robot. So can you guys talk a little bit about that? Yeah, for sure. All right, yeah, so we use a lot of like vision stuff with our robot this year especially. We wanted to make that a major focus. So we have a camera right here connected to a Raspberry Pi 5. And we use that to see the April tags so that our robot knows where it is on the field at all times. And what we do with that is we get the, we get the center of the reef and then the position of the poles. And what we do is we just automatically align to those positions with, because we know where we are on the field. And then if we're on a slanted position where we don't know the exact points of the poles, all we have to do is just rotate the robot's position with a rotation matrix. And then we can just make it relative to a flat surface. And that's a lot easier to do. And I think vision has really improved our cycle times a lot. And it's made you know, cycling just a lot easier and scoring a lot faster. So yeah. Okay. Um, that's really innovative. Have you guys been doing anything to like hop out your drivers with that um, and make it easier to drive or what have you guys been doing to uh, with that? Oh yeah, uh, some other stuff that we've done to make it easier for the drivers is we have these LEDs right here. And what they do is they show us a ton of different things. They show us if we're in algae or coral mode. They also tell us if we've in took in a piece and they also tell us what uh, scoring level our preset is set to. So the driver always knows that they're going to be going to the right position whenever they want to score. That's incredible. Um, great job on your guys' robot this year. Um, we know you guys have one more regional, so great luck at that. And also great luck at this event. We'll, come, we'll catch you guys on the next edition of Behind the Bumpers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. For over 100 years, Kettering University has offered a better education because from day one, that education has been built on hands-on co-op learning. Kettering's impressive alumni network includes founders, presidents, CEOs, and front runners who have a reputation for transforming industries with their resolute leadership. Apply today at kettering.edu first.